Hello and welcome to the Media Division. Today we're gonna check out one of the hottest new lenses on the market and it's the Laua Probe Lens 24 millimeter macro. And it not only looks exciting, the images are exciting too. And to make this even more exciting, we are going to use our brand new addition to the arsenal, the Marvel LF large format cinema camera raw. So what is not to like about that? Come on. Looking at the Lauer Probe Lens, it's quite obviously a very different beast. Its very unique shape and build will allow you to access places that no lens has gone before. And I don't mean this in an anatomical way. This lens will allow you to achieve a whole new interesting perspective on things that might be right in front of you. And we will do that using my trademark projector, filming intimate details of light and shadows with the short film Glow. Even though the form factor suggests otherwise, the Laua is actually a full frame lens and you can get this in EF and in E mount and that will allow cameras like the A7 from Sony and the Marvel to be an ideal companion for this. Let's talk a bit about the Marvel F. It is really a cinema cam, meaning that you are not going to find any of the usual features you would find on a mirrorless or camcorder style camera. No autofocus or auto modes in general. No stabilization, no light white codecs like H.264 or HEVC and it eats battery like crazy. But it has a hell of super cool features and specs for wild dreams. Large format sensor, 14 stops dynamic range, interchangeable mount, 3 to 1 DNG, crazy high ISO and that's just a few. And the image is truly gorgeous. Basically, it is an alternative to a red Monstro with a smaller footprint and at a fraction of the price. So the Marvel LF is a camera for shooters who definitely know what they are doing. And uh, even though it's much, much cheaper than a red Monstro, it is still an investment. Uh, if you want to have a shooting package that really works, you're going to have to spend something like uh, sixteen to $18,000. Before people get too excited about definitions again, I'm sticking to the cinema definition, which means everything larger than a Super 35 is considered a large format camera. So the Marvel LF is a large format camera. Even the Ari LF has only a sensor size that is a little bit bigger than uh, full frame. But if you're used to DSLR mirrorless or come from the photography, uh, then feel free to name, name, call it a full frame camera because a large format would be a four to five inches sensor size at least. This is gigantic. Feel free to use whatever definition you're comfortable with. We are definitely going to do a lot with the Marvel LF in the future and it is the last and main ingredient in our next epic episode where we emulate the Ultra Panavision 70 format. That is large format anamorphic and it has been used to shoot films like Ben-Hur and The Hateful Eight. That is definitely going to be something and if you don't want to miss out on that, subscribe to our channel and make sure to bing that bell so you will get notifications when we will release that or other cool stuff. If you ever tried macro photography, you know that it's sometimes a fight against the shallow depth of field. It can be uh, so narrow that it's only as uh, narrow as the hair of an insect. And that's why in photography with high magnification you have to stack the photos. Uh, or use other things like for example a tilt shift lens that will um, uh, put the focal plane in another uh, angle. So using a full frame sensor in macro photography has some disadvantages by making the depth of field even narrower. Um, but the uh, Laua has some features that help us. It has a um, crazy high aperture, starting at f14 and going up to f40. As it is a wide angle lens, it lets you capture a wide field of view and therefore more environment surrounding a subject. But it also means you have to get very, very close to your subject to have a high magnification. The very small tip of the lens is less likely to cast a shadow and on top of that it offers some very bright red lights that need to be powered with an external USB battery. So even with a full frame 
camera, you can still get a decent depth of field. Um, of course, it helps if your camera has very good ISO, like the Mavo LF does have, so you can work against the uh, high aperture. Let's try the obligatory buckshot, Lumos. The main desert scorpion bakes in the sun, motionless, until he gets a sense of prey, and then he attacks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, I faked this one, but it's still got to show the principal possibilities and limitations. This was shot with a 2000 watt equivalent LED light at f14, and it still had to push the camera to 10,000 ISO, even at the slowest stop. Typical optical false start to show, as you can see in the highlights, but still a very interesting image to work with. I love the old uh, B-movies like uh, Tarantula or, or Them, and I always wanted to recreate the technique they used for Tarantula by using an actual spider um, um, to create the giant Tarantula that, that haunts Nevada. One of the problems doing it is that you need a deep depth of field to make even the largest Tarantula believable as a gigantic one. A narrow depth of field makes the spider immediately perceived as a small one. From this test, I can already say that the depth of field given by the Laowa is not enough to do this. If you have any idea how to achieve a very deep focus in um, macro photography without having like a F100 and without uh, image stack, uh, stacking and without uh, um, tilt shifting, something like the Fraser lens, I put a link here um, just in case you don't know what that is. Um, please let me know in the comments. I'm really interested there in that. Uh, of course, I can't spend an arm and leg on that. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So now let's do some serious shot probing that uh, old 60 millimeter projector um, using the Marvel F on a slider um, and give you a complete new perspective on light, on optics and on mechanics. Have fun. I think that um, the image that the Lawa produces has something very intriguing and beautiful. It creates a dreamlike um, uh, perspective um, just by its unique angle. Um, I would love to own the lens. I don't. This is just a loaner from a friend. Um, uh, I would like to add it to my arsenal, but the price is quite steep at 1,600 US. And even if you want to buy it, um, uh, at the moment, the delivery times are around four months. Anyway, if you think you can make good use of it and can sell it to your customers, I think it's a great lens. If you found this mildly useful or entertaining, please don't forget to give us a like. And don't forget to subscribe and to bing that bell for lots of interesting stuff, like recreating classic movie effects. Nerdy videos for video nerds, practical tips from behind the scenes, 
and pose techniques. Something for everybody who is in love with the craft. You can always drop us a line with your suggestions or questions in the comments below. Uh, we usually answer each and every one of them. I'm Nicholas from the Media Division, signing out with no delicious wishes. Shoot something amazing. Until next time, bye.